Hi there, signs of Libra. Hope you guys are doing really good. This is Kim with your next 48 hour reading and I really appreciate you being here. Hope your day's, like I said, going really good. What, trying to get some Palo Santo lit. And we are uh, probably gonna pull a Celtic cross. So <clears throat> let's, without further ado, get into this reading for you, Libra. Opening up to Libra's spirit team, their spirit guides, their angels, so that these messages are for your most high. If you find you do like the video, please hit that like button and subscribe. It helps and I appreciate all this, all the support. And let's see. Messages for the sign, the collective of Libra, please. Okay, we're using Tarot of Oppositions first. So your first card out is Three of Wands for the issue. What's the challenge? The Ace of Cups. Huh. Okay. That's interesting. This is... Okay, the heart of the matter. I'm, I'm going to get all the cards out first. And then I'm going to um, make my determination on what this is about. It, I'll tell you, it's looking very much so like a, a relationship or, well, like I said, here, we'll just keep on picking up. Oh, so whatever you were picking in the past did not work out for you or was like a... Um, um, a habit of picking things that are not the best for us. Booze, <laughs> smoking, you know what I mean? It's those things. It's like the things that are detrimental to us in some way. So the crowning energy. Eight of Pentacles. Exactly how I want to see it too. Uh, in that position. So these cards have, you know, two sides. And if it were like this, I would say it's in reverse and we have some issues. But something is actually working out really well for you. <clears throat> or if you don't see it working out, it's going to. Some kind of creative project here is coming in. Future energy for Libra. Wow. <laughs> okay. I didn't know which way that wanted to flip out, but I'm going to take it. Six of Wands, um, celebration, job well, well, well done, recognition, reward, how are you feeling, how are you feeling, just by looking at this, I'm feeling inspired, four cups, and we could say it's in the reverse, so yeah, like, you've already done a lot of thinking about this past energy and about where you don't want to end up again. <laughs> In the environment. And at this point, it's like this Three of Wands is saying your vision for what you're wanting to create is going to come in. <clears throat> you are absolutely over with any lies or deception or anything, any kind of sneakiness, like you're, you're really done with that. Um, so in, in the environment, there is a need for strategy. There's a need to keep something to ourselves, but this is just, I feel like this is giving us more information on how you're actually feeling with the four of cups. <clears throat> Tell me about the hope or fear. Page of Swords. What will people say? <laughs> what will people say? That might might be part of this. Um, maybe it's hoping for something to be, you know, good communication, <clears throat> news, good news. Maybe the outcome. Five of Cups. 
and it's coming across to me as letting go of the past and going after because you see how it's touching this side of the nine of cups going after your wish granted like what is it that you really want i feel like you're finding out what you really want tell me more about that five of cups and you're taking yeah and you're having deep reflection queen of pentacle <clears throat> Queen of Pentacle, um, in the position of, you know, I think it's uh, looking at the reflection as something good, something really good here. This is about also being able to handle all roles, like into one, being able to handle every, everything, basically. So what we have with the Ace of Cups as the challenge, I'm going to get one more for this outcome, and then we will clarify. Ace of Wands in the reverse, or almost in the reverse, and Judgment in the reverse. That that has to do with the past energy that you're through with. Not getting enough recognition or not getting the respect that you deserve from a past situation or from something that's just kind of like lost some kind of passion. Look at this disappointment here with the Five of Cups. It's it, it's not in you, it's in somebody else, I can tell you that. Because your choices have been better from the past. Um, the Three of Wands, the Ace of Cups could be a new um, emotional beginning for you. Sometimes this is the Love Begins card. It, it can be just, you know, the person's grabbing uh, for the cup, not having to hold on to it too tightly, but actually just kind of reaching for it. Um, and the Three of Wands is like making uh, your visions come true. It's, it's being expansive, it's creating. So the challenge might be to create something new uh, after dealing with these other energies that were a bit disappointing. And you have the emperor for your heart of the matter, which is like you standing firm, what you say goes, you know, what you say goes, you're not backing down from how you feel that you know how you feel. Um, you know what strategy you want moving forward. And, the, and I feel like the heart is really sure about what it wants or what it expects. So how are you feeling though is like the reason you've tried to visualize something new, something better is because you're over this stuff from the past. With the Four of Cups, it got to be like, it was just over it, over it. Too many lies, deception. Um, this is maybe saying that you were over somebody not, or, or even maybe even yourself not seeing things clearly. But now the Four of Cups reverse is like a fresh new start is what you're needing. And you are seeing those options clearly now or through sober eyes. Like that's, I, that's how I see that card. <clears throat> Tell me about the Seven of Swords and the environment. I feel like it's changing because of it being in that position. I feel like something's really changing with the Seven of Swords. Queen of Wands in the reverse. It it shook your um, whatever this these lies, cheating, stealing, whatever that was. It broke. It stopped you from being very confident, from wanting to put yourself out there ever again, right? And and it's because of coming out of a time where something just really didn't feel reciprocal, or there was always an unequal give and take. So I would say that this is being like. Air on the side of caution is what that Queen of Wands is probably talking about for you. Another seven. Standing up for what you want. Seven of Wands. But being cautious at the same time. And why? Because there's this energy of <clears throat> you putting a lot of your your head and your time into your work, your skill, your craft, your abilities, and something is actually working out really well. You're getting better and better at something. 
so king of swords this is another one of those energies of like what you say goes uh and the, the king of swords is like you know no no bs this person is very knowledgeable um it's either right or wrong with this uh king of swords there's a lot of discipline here and it is probably saying hey it's taken a lot of discipline and obedience for you just to be picking the right things all the time seven 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 so this discipline um i feel like you're wanting a situation that matches the discipline that you've put in your life from up to this point and so in in focusing on something that really works out for you i <clears throat> knight of pentacle in the reverse somebody that's uh taking a while but this is where the disappointment comes and there, there's still like anger or resentment being held it's I feel like it's either this um, King of Pentacles in the reverse or wanting to come out of a commitment because somebody just really was always lying or was not was not dependable with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. <clears throat> Possible that there, there could have been an issue that was keeping you held back from um, having a, a much bigger victory. So tell us about what Libra has to look forward to. Ooh, okay. So like I said, there's new opportunities. There's new, wow, the star on the bottom. Okay, Aquarius energy. What do you have to look forward to? New opportunities. Some friends are gonna go. <laughs> Some friends, um, will stay but with the three of cups in the reverse it feels more so like a person who was very close to you that betrayed you or betrayed your trust and so therefore you're like now i'm looking at this new opportunity to create and to even build more wealth um because this group is a not so great influence and it takes discipline just refusing some of the things that maybe they're influencing you on So what it's saying with this is you could look forward to new opportunities. You can also be looking forward to changing up who you're uh, hanging around so that the influence doesn't lead you back to times where you, you don't fit in anymore, if that makes any sense. <laughs> it's making sense to me. There's going to be a focus on your um, finances and I'm um, expanding. And the Ace of Pentacles is like, I mean, there could be like a big offer coming. This You could look at this as like a big gift coming your way. I, I feel like it's almost like a gift from the universe for, for sticking to choosing the things that are really good for you. And this is just making me feel uh, with the Page of Swords and the Six of Wands, like people are talking and it's good things, saying good things about you. So give us more on this outcome with the Five of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Closure. And it's still um, an ending or closure is still on its way. This could be a Capricorn, Leo, Aries, Sag, or Scorpio energy um, with this outcome. And, and this is definitely an ending um, and getting closure. And, and I'm telling you, the ending of something, of maybe you having to do everything, there's some kind of ending that brings the finances up. So death card, change and transformation, Scorpio energy. What about that ace of wands in the reverse? Ending. 
somebody from the past or something from the past. It's, it's the ending. It's too much betrayal, and so it's walking away from this. It's an ending. You're ready to spend some time looking at how much you do, looking at your reflection, and finding that spark, the, um, the spark that motivates you, the, the spark that is your lantern in the dark. And, and if it means being alone, it's like, so be it. Here, let's get... <clears throat> Let's get one of these Archangel Raphael cards and then I'll get a tea leaf. If you need um, a private reading, just reach out to me and I will get one for you in the description box below is how to find that information out. So I have fresh air. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for helping me breathe easier in all ways. <clears throat> Home help. Dear God, Archangel Raphael, thank you for giving me the courage to ask and accept help from you, the angels, and others in regarding my family and home. Children, dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for helping me help children. Caffeine-free, dear Archangel Raphael, I ask that you cut my cords of attachment to caffeine so I may honor my body's natural energy rhythms without communication or chemicals. Com communication? Why did I even say that? I don't know. Teardrops, great personal sorrow. Stork, news of a birth or business opportunity. Scissors, disappointment in some affair. I have the goldfish, increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. I have ink pot, problems to be resolved. Cup, you should accept valid criticism. Rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters. Fire, strong emotion, passionate love or hate. And I also have leg, stepping into a new experience. So for your closing card, it'd be either fairy dust or fortune cookie. There's the fortune cookie, look at that. Stepping into a new experience, major life change. The time is right for major life changes, such as a new lifestyle or location, brings great joy and a trouble-free existence. Be strong when trouble seems to be brewing near your inner strength will keep you clear. And that's what I've got for my Libras. Sending you love and light. Thanks so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this. Bye-bye.